Hey guys, thank you so much for returning. So today's video is just a little vlog. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys what happened the other day at work. It's quite funny. Um, one thing you need to know about me is that I love 70s rock and I was a huge fan of The Doors like 30 years after Jim Morrison has passed away. Like, um, I grew up in Germany, I was born and raised there and when we decided to come to America one thing I told my dad is like, I need to go visit Jim Morrison's grave. Like, I've, I've been to Paris several times, but I've never been to his gravesite. So that was the one thing that I wanted to do. Like, that was my bucket list before I left Germany. Is like, I have to go to Paris, to Pierre Lachaise, and go see Jim Morrison's grave, which we did. And there's another story in that too, but that comes at a later time. But anyway, <laughs> the other day at work in my old apartment, um, another tidbit is I, I switched departments because the apartment I was in got closed down. It ends February 15, and it's going to be a really sad day for me because I really love that account and those people, and they were my family. So anyway, um, one of the newer guys came over, and he was all like, yeah, I'm the Lizard King. I was like, no, you're not. Jim Morrison is the Lizard King. I am the Lizard King. I can do anything. So he's like, Jim Morrison, who's Jim Morrison? I'm like, oh, Jim Morrison was the singer of The Doors. He's like, The Doors? Who's The Doors? I was like, oh my god. And <laughs> Funny enough, that very day I was wearing this shirt. I only have one door shirt because there really aren't a lot that I like. They're just not that great. But this one here, just a classic. So I, I was wearing that that day. Coincidentally, that was so funny. So I was I was telling him, I was like, hey, you need to look up the doors. They're really awesome. You know, they're a band from, from late 60s, early 70s. And then my neighbor, Kevin, if you're watching this, hey, Kevin, I love you. <laughs> Kevin, he's like, yeah, he was the lead singer and guitarist for the doors. I'm like, oh. Hold up! Wait, what? Guitarist? Uh uh uh. Nope, nope, nope. He didn't play guitar. He didn't play any instruments. He's like, yeah, he did. I'm like, no, he didn't. He's like, yeah, he did. Like, no, he didn't. Like, trust me. It's like there was like one year where I did not listen to anything but the Doors, and actually, I have it here. It's like this one, this greatest album, greatest hits, is. The one that I bought, like my dad had a few, I remember listening to LA Woman, but I just, I bought this, and everywhere I went, it doesn't matter what friend's house I went to, if they had a CD player, this CD was in it, I just loved, I was so obsessed with The Doors and Jim Morrison, it was so crazy, but anyway, so I was like, I was, I was thinking for a moment, I'm like, wait, because um, Kevin said, he was like, oh, at, at the beginning, he, he, um, he, he played a few strings, but it didn't work out, so they decided he should only sing. And he was like, did you watch the movie? I'm like, did I watch the movie? I've been watching the movie on VHS. I currently own it on DVD Deluxe Edition and Blu-ray. But <laughs> the funny thing is, I, I thought about it for a moment. I'm like, wait a minute, did he play any instruments? I was like, he did play the harmonica um, and sometimes he would play the tambourine but that was you know that was just for live stuff and I, maybe a few recordings but Jim Morrison really didn't play any instruments and he really wasn't a singer he was a poet and he was he was actually in school at UCLA when he met Ray Manzarek and he read out his poems and you know, and I mean, you have that part in in the movie. Um, what you don't know, I watched recently this documentary about them that he was actually living on somebody's rooftop and he was writing these poems as like a concert in his head. So that's how the how the Doors started. So I just wanted to show you like a few things that I have of the Doors. So I've been to his grave and I've been listening to this album since I've been little. Like I've been listening to it forever. I have my Doors shirt and then I have this. This one here, actually, my dad got as a gift from one of his co-works because he found it in a closet and forgot that he had bought it and bought it a second time, so he gave it to my dad. And I was so jealous of it, like, oh my god! And um, it was actually quite funny because the um, <laughs> I have the greatest hits, but I, I did buy, like, this big volume. It had, like, three CDs, and it had, like, it had, like, their whole collection. Just, it wasn't in order. But... 
Then my dad decided to give me this as an early Christmas present. I was so stoked. Because like two days before this happened, I was telling my other co-worker, Clay, I was like, yeah, my dad got the ultimate box and I'm so jealous and blah, blah, blah. My dad doesn't listen to the doors. And so my dad gave it to me and I was so excited. And so I, I, I turned around and I gave my dad all of these CDs that I had except for the greatest hits because that one is just, I bought that and it's just, I've been listening to that CD so many times so I just, I didn't, it's more sentimental. So anyway, and now comes the real kicker. Oh my god, are you guys ready for this one? Another one of my dad's co-workers, he, um, he collects old um, records and he fixes old record players and he gave my dad this, and my dad called me, and he's like, hey, I got a surprise for you. I was like, what is it? He's like, I can't tell you. And I'm like, is it endorsed vinyl? And you hear silence on the other end. He's like, how did you know? I'm like, wait, what? And I was like, oh my God. I, th I told him, I thought it was the craziest thing that he could get me, you know? So anyway, his friends had found this and this is an original recording and it still works we played it of strange days and <laughs> my dad's friend he was like now you can't keep this and you can't sell this this goes straight to your daughter so um i got a frame for it just the other day and i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it yet i kind of I kind of wanted to put it right there, but I got my Harder Grand poster right there, and him is my favorite man. I really don't have anything of him there, so I'm going to see if I could squeeze it underneath it, maybe. I'm not too sure, but yeah. So that was a, that was a funny story from work, and see, my German tried to come up work. So yeah, um, I just wanted to show you guys that and give you just a little update. Um, there's more videos coming. I got a long one that I need to edit this week and upload and I have a few more videos planned so there's a few more things coming from me so don't dread my dearies <laughs> see you guys later